You know, I went to school one day and um, I was in 11th grade and really had a lot on my mind and wasn't happy and had some issues and I clearly wasn't myself because when I walked into my homeroom class, my homeroom teacher at the time, Mrs. Bush, said to me, what's wrong with you, boy? And uh, that's the way she talked. She's kind of funny and stuff. I said, you know, life sucks. Just not happy about a bunch of stuff. And she goes, well, let me tell you something. And she goes, listen to me. And she pointed her finger at me and she goes, um, you matter. You can do anything you want if you put your mind to it. And don't let the world get you down. And she goes, um, repeat that after me. I remember that pretty vividly. And, and I said it back to her. And when I said, don't let the world get you down, she said, you let the world get you down. You make that choice. And she goes, make the choice not to do it. Living with that is, you know, my DNA. And, you know, kind of sprung board into a fast track at a high school, a fast track in the business world. And just really became... You know, successful at a young age. In December of 2004, I was president of a shoe company. I was literally sitting on my couch and um, I saw this shoe float up on the shore during the Asian tsunami. And uh, I believe that God whispered to me and said, Hey, man, you need to do something about this. I started collecting shoes and got some people involved and some shoe companies involved. And we ended up sending a quarter million pairs of shoes to Southeast Asia, way far more than I ever thought that we would do. And, you know, you fast forward today, you know, my book, Almost Isn't Good Enough, talks about the whole Mrs. Bush thing, the whole you matter, you can do anything you want to put your mind to it, don't worry about you now. I'm just a simple guy. You know, you see what you get, probably a little more candid than I should be at times, but, you know, this book is a practical application uh, whether you're a church leader, a nonprofit leader, a business leader, or just a person that's looking for some sense of direction, just looking for something to, to nudge you forward. When you're done with the book, the two final thoughts for you is, number one, what can you do in your world to make a difference in the world? Number two, who can you be a Mrs. Bush for?